Over the past few months, we've been trying to find the best iPad Pro keyboard out in the market. Then a company like Inopresso popped up on Indiegogo that showcases an iPad Pro running iPad OS with its hidden mouse accessibility feature that can be controlled by their keyboard. So we obviously had to check it out. Thanks for watching Apple Insider. Don't forget to hit that like button and be sure to hit subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you know when we upload new videos. Now there are companies like Zag, Logitech, Bridge that make really good iPad Pro keyboards, but none of them offer some sort of mouse or trackpad support on their keyboard, which is totally understandable. iPad OS isn't officially out and mouse support for iPad OS isn't technically the same as Mac OS. There's no right click option to open up a contextual window and the cursor itself is not your traditional mouse cursor. But that's not going to stop Inopresso to produce the Mocobo. This keyboard isn't an iPad Pro exclusive, nor is it an all-in-one keyboard case combo like the Slim Folio Pro from Logitech or the Slim Book Go from Zag. It's your traditional wireless Bluetooth keyboard that sit below your iPad when you're on a desk and have your iPad propped up. The Mokubo is relatively small, lightweight, and compact, so you won't have issues carrying this with you at all times. It's made out of high-grade aluminum, which helps the keyboard feel really sturdy, but still feel light enough to lug around. The keys themselves are a little bit spaced too tightly for my liking, but it helps keep the keyboard compact. The Mokubo is also using pantograph type, which is thin and tactile but also reminds me of Apple's third generation butterfly switches. There's little to no key travel, which makes the keys feel really mushy. Mokubo is equipped with a 590 milliamp hour battery, which is supposed to last four to five hours per day, but that also depends on how often you use the keyboard. On standby though, it should last for at least five months. Sadly, the keyboard charges via micro USB, but they did mention to Apple Insider that they'll eventually have a USB-C variant in the future and potentially an iPad Pro type cover keyboard too. So the touch capabilities on the Mokubo works really well. With the mouse feature turned on, the keyboard was able to detect the mouse immediately and you're able to move the cursor by moving your fingers through the keyboard. You do have to have your thumb by the lower end of the keyboard to avoid accidental inputs, but it works really well. You can use two fingers to scroll through web pages and apps, but it is somewhat jerky and lacks that momentum that you usually get by touching the screen. But the trackpad works best for simple things like pointing, clicking, or for text selection. Overall though, we love the concept, but there are shortcomings. The keyboard feels really mushy thanks to that pantograph type. The inclusion of micro USB in 2019 is a little disappointing, and it also has a pretty premium price tag at $199. Besides that, the keyboard is good enough for everyday operation, and it's certainly a unique way to type and get around your iPad. It's not the perfect keyboard, but it is a great starting point for third-party manufacturers to think about the future of iPad Pro keyboards. Hopefully in the next few months we'll see more keyboards like the Mokubo that can help make the iPad Pro feel a little bit more of a laptop replacement. Hey everyone, did you guys like that video? Be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys want to see. And follow Apple Insider on all social media channels. If you want the best prices on any Apple gear, check out the Apple Insider price guide that is updated daily. And until next time, we'll see you later.